Good morning, everyone. I am Amanda, also known as Keto Ginger. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you guys today. I'm going to cut to the chase and tell you what we're doing. It is a full day of keto eating. Are you guys tired of these? This is the video that I get requested the absolute most is people want to see exactly what I am eating in a day. So I'm going to show you. I got some new marinades by this really cool company. I'm going to make myself a cup of collagen coffee. I'll show you how I do that. And then I'm going to get dinner marinating early in the day. There's a new company that sent me some marinades. I can't wait to try them. They look absolutely delicious and the reviews have been incredible. So I'm going to marinate a pork tenderloin for most of the day and then I'm gonna roast it in the oven and that's gonna be dinner. Lunch will probably be leftover chili, but I think I'm gonna make a chaffle bowl and show you guys how I do that. So that's what we're doing today. Full day of keto eating. I have a really busy week. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but my Lincoln, my oldest, turns five on Friday and we are taking him and Levi to Disney World for the first time. We're going to start with Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween just so we can see how they do in the theme park. But to say that I am excited, I am beyond. I have been waiting for this moment as a mother since the second I found out I was pregnant. I'm probably going to cry the whole time. <laughs> so let's make with the coffee, right? You wanna see it? If you've seen it before, sorry. Not actually sorry, because it is my Desert Island Keto product. If someone swooped in and said, hey Amanda, you can only have one keto specialty product for the rest of your existence, this would be my pick, and that is the God's honest truth. Here we go. All right, here we go. Got eight ounces of coffee. One scoop of the Preferred Elements Chocolate Collagen. This is my favorite product on the planet. It has MCT oil in it, so it really gives me a charge plus all the added benefits of collagen. I already have the scoop in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of half and half. You could use heavy cream or you could use almond milk. I just have a flavor preference for half and half. Now I'm gonna blend it up. And that's gonna be my breakfast today. Mm. I haven't been doing my extended fasting the way that I was doing before because when I'm trying to get myself back into ketosis, which I'm back in, but I was out for the hurricane, I find myself hungrier in the morning. So if I'm starving, I'll do a meal replacement shake. If I'm just a little hungry and a little peckish, I do this. It is so freaking good. It's like a chocolate coffee mocha. I don't know. If you haven't ordered it yet and you've been on the fence, highly recommend. Comes in vanilla too, but chocolate's my favorite. Let's marinate this pork tenderloin, shall we? Okay guys, these are the sauces. It's by a company called Kumana. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. And they sent me three sauces to try. I'm actually doing a really cool collaboration over on Instagram with these sauces, but I thought it, I would do double duty and just show it to you guys as well. There's three different flavors. All of these sauces are avocado sauces. So the base is avocado. There is an original. Be hot. Be mango. What? How do we have low carb mango here, people? It's one net carb for one tablespoon. So I am going to use it as a marinade, but I'm not gonna go bananas. The meat's only gonna absorb so much, so I think it'll be okay. It can be a sauce or a marinade, and I just absolutely love that. Tacos, eggs, sandwiches, burgers. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I can't wait to try these. Born in Venezuela, raised in LA. I love this. Love this for us. Let me show you the pork that I got. I used to not be a huge fan of pork. I've always liked bacon, but when it comes to just roasting a whole big piece of pork, that wasn't always my favorite. My taste buds have changed tremendously since starting keto, and now I find myself craving a beautiful piece of lean pork. So let's get it marinating, and then I'll pop back in for lunch, and we'll make chaffle bowls. Yay. 
from Aldi. It's 2.6 pounds and it's gonna be two strips of pork tenderloin. So we're gonna get these into a Ziploc bag with a good healthy helping of the avocado sauce in the mango. So this is going to be an avocado mango roasted pork later on for dinner. I am foaming at the mouth. I hope it's as delicious as it sounds. Let's do it. You guys, I really wish that I had smell of vision You're not gonna believe the scent on this. I'm gonna start with a half a cup and then put the pork in and see if that is enough marinade for the two huge pork tenderloins. Big tenderloins going into this bag. And then I'm gonna mush them around and see if I need to add more marinade. I think half a cup is going to do us just fine. All set. This is gonna hang out in the fridge for a few hours and it's gonna be all ready to slow roast later on today. See you guys at lunch. Lunch is going to be leftover chili, which I'll leave a link for up above. And then we're finally gonna break in our waffle bowl maker. Waffle Bowl Maker is plugged in and heating up, and while that happens, I am going to shred up some mild cheddar cheese. Full confession, the reason you guys have not seen a chaffle recipe on my channel yet is because I've made them several different ways and I have yet to really love them. I'm hoping that the bowl kind of changes that for me because it seems like such a handy vessel. I'm gonna keep trying and we'll just see. All right, shredded cheddar, stop talking. All right, so I've got one egg here. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk that together really well. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of dried parsley. And also just a little bit of the sharp cheddar that I grated up. I like to add a little bit of cheese to the mixture itself and then I also add some directly to the waffle maker. Gonna open it up. Be careful, it's really hot. We're gonna spray both sides. Sprinkle in some cheddar cheese. Be very careful, but we're gonna place it as best we can without burning ourselves. And then the egg and cheese mixture goes in to the waffle bowl. All right, here goes nothing. Oh yeah, yes. Biggest tricks to these is cooking them long enough. Just when you think it's burnt, cook it longer and then it'll firm up for you. See how nice and golden the bottom is and it's sturdy, like it's not gonna fall apart once I put the chili in it. It is on for lunch, you guys. I've got my little chaffle bowl here, seasoned with garlic and parsley, and about three quarters of a cup of my chili. Oh, looks so good. The chaffle bowl was delicious. You have to cook them for a super long time. That one probably was in for a good five minutes and it got super crispy. I loved it. I have yet to say that I loved a regular chaffle, but the chaffle bowl is where it's at. So I can't wait to do like a dessert version. I think that would be awesome. So now I'm gonna cook up the pork tenderloin. This is super easy. I'm gonna get a pan on medium high and I am going to sear both sides of each piece of tenderloin. Then it's gonna go into the oven and it's gonna bake on 400 until the internal temperature is around 150 and then it's gonna be ready. So let's get it done, shall we? I can't wait to try it. It smells so good, just the marinade. Mm. I'm going to have to do these tenderloins one at a time because I don't have a big enough pan. But I'm gonna sear them on each side until they're browned. It should take about five minutes per side. Number two. Number two. Now we flip. Whoop. Now we flip. 
Now these are both going into a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes, give or take, just until the internal temperature reaches somewhere between 145 and 155. Dinner side dish is just going to be some super easy Brussels sprouts. I bought the steam in the bag kind. I steam them per the package directions. Then I throw them in a frying pan with butter and fry them up. I'm also going to add a little bit of cream cheese so they'll be like a seasoned creamy Brussels sprout. Really, really easy. All right, so I sauteed these in butter, added a little bit of salt and pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. And then I'm gonna go in with just a couple tablespoons of regular full fat cream cheese. I'm gonna turn the heat down to low and I'm going to stir this all together until it's nice and creamy. We are all plated here. My pork and creamy Brussels sprouts. And then this is Dan's plate. He's got like a double portion compared to mine, but you know, he's a dude, so he eats more. And this is the marinade. We're gonna try this real quick for you guys and then we'll get out of here. It's been a really long day, but I'm super excited to eat dinner. Mm. <sighs> you wanna try this? Of course. This is that new marinade. You ready? Yeah. Avocado mango. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. Oh. Mm. You get a tad of sweetness, just a tad, but it just tastes like a really rich, full sauce. I can't, I mean, it's an avocado mango sauce, but I, I can't nail the flavor. Like, if I wouldn't it have told tropical. you. Exactly. If I wouldn't have told you what it was, it would be hard to place the flavors, but it's freaking delicious. And the pork is so tender, so I think the marinade helped to keep it all nice and juicy. It's amazing. I like it. I'm going to have to try this on a couple other things soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of keto eating. I enjoyed making it for you. If you are new here, I hope you'll stick around. We're going to go eat dinner. Yes, we are. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.